Danny Travis kicks off your morning rush. One man is dead and another is injured after two separate shootings in West Palm Beach Saturday night. The first happened around 1140 Saturday night near 10th Street and Sapadilla Avenue. A man died in this incident. The second shooting happened at a house party near 37th Street and Broadway. Police say a car drove by and shot at people. One person was injured. Nine men are behind bars after a prostitution bust in Lake Worth Beach. According to the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office, the men were arrested for solicitation for prostitution. Deputies say the operation was designed as an effort to combat an ongoing prostitution problem in the area. Two men accused of using security cameras to watch a Palm Beach couple's intimate moments will appear in court here behind me this morning. Jeremy Lewis and Michael Riley are charged with felony video voyeurism. Both were former techs hired by the Palm Beach couple to install security cameras in their home. The two men have since been fired. According to our previous reporting, they will appear in court at 9 a.m. It's moving day here at the Bush Wildlife Sanctuary in Jupiter. We were here overnight as crews moved two of their black bears to their new facility a few miles away in Jupiter Farms. Good Greek Moving and Storage are volunteering. Later this morning, the group will also move their oldest wildlife animal, Freddy the Alligator. This new Bush Wildlife Sanctuary opens to the public mid-October. A government shutdown at the end of this month is looking likely. Six Republican members of the House have put forward a short-term funding bill that would cut 1% of federal funding, including border security measures, and fund the government until the end of October. But some far-right members of the House say that they won't support it, and it's unlikely to pass in a Democratic-controlled Senate. Congress has just two weeks to avert a shutdown.